we hear the word citizen developer or the, the term citizen developer. Uh, is this a no coder? Is there a difference? What, how would you define citizen developer? Yeah, that's, it's really not my favorite term because I think it's a little confusing. I mean, what's a citizen in this context? Um, but it really means somebody who builds applications and that somebody has no technical training or maybe just not a technical background. They might be trained on that no code application, but they're not trained, they don't have a computer science degree, probably that kind of thing. So, you know, the good thing about that is I, kind of alluded to when we were talking about no code is there's a big shortage of IT and computer science skills in the world, in the marketplace. And so almost no companies can hire enough developers to build all of the custom software they want. So citizen developers fill that gap. The other benefit there is that the citizen developers typically already understand the requirements for the custom app pretty well. Uh, so the whole step of writing a long document to explain what's needed and handing that off to developers who don't quite understand it and build a little bit of the wrong thing and there's back and forth, you, you streamline that process quite a bit. And that's the other nice thing about having citizen developers directly go build your application. The downside is that you know, IT as a discipline has been around since maybe the 60s or 70s. And in that 50 plus years, they've learned a lot about what to do and what not to do to support the business with technology. And so you don't want the citizen developers to be going nuts and kind of relearning all of the hard lessons that IT has learned. Um, and I think you know, the, where that comes out the most or maybe is the most obvious is in change management. Another area would be security. Uh, and so part of the solution there is for a vendor like AirSlate to really help people who are building apps build them in a secure way. And we do that in a lot of different ways with permissions and sort of security by default in the application and also help them manage change. Uh, you know, anytime you've seen your Salesforce down for maintenance, that's because of uh, proper IT led change management. And the question is, can we help non-technical people make changes to their flows without taking down the flows that are already up and working. And so we've got some features like that. We're working on a lot more. It's a big area of focus of development.